everybody, welcome to the Bulldog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look at Emily's Stem Center. Now, this is a long awaited look because you guys have been waiting for this probably for months now. I have been waiting for us to clean or for it to stay clean um, and, you know, organized, but it just dawned on me that you guys would be waiting forever because she is always creating or building or doing something over there and it's just never clean and organized. So we're just going to show you the way it is right now and we're going to go ahead and do this tour of her STEM Center now. So this is an overall look at Emily's STEM Center. Pretty much everything you see is from Ikea. The table is, I believe they call it a liniment. Um, I'm not sure what the chair is called. I will link it. But everything, these are the Trofast units. That's a picture ledge. All of it was an Ikea trip. The tabletop, Kevin used these Creative QT Lego base plates. We were able to find them in white um, and they had sticky backs. So he just easily basically cut and made the entire tabletop a Lego base plate table for her. And I love that it's white so it still looks kind of you know classy we also bought a spare tabletop if you can see right there so if she ever wants to do something that's not Lego all we do is scoot that out and pull it and just put it on top and so she still has a regular table she uses the top of the Trofast and the picture ledge to display ones that she doesn't want broken just yet and then we will go ahead and start looking inside the bins. So this is what she calls her tinker bin. Um, it has zoobs. I don't know what these things are called. They came from Target. Uh, plus plus blocks. Links. Basically any kind of little like plastic type thing she could build with is in here. She calls that one her tinker one. This keeps her, this is from Learning Resources. Um, it's these little balls and connectors that you can make different kinds of things with and then straws and connectors and I just keep them in these little Ziploc bags so she can easily grab one out. These are all of her brain blocks. They're the planks. It's just a big one of planks. And then this is where she keeps her blocks. Um, all of her wooden blocks and I keep these famous landmark cards in here. These are from Play-Doh to Play-Doh. This side actually is missing some of the stuff because you guys probably just saw it in a Halloween morning basket. Normally her brick picks go here which are like the little dots, the pixel ones. Um, I keep all of my printable story things in here and then these are all of her bricks that have the like letters on them so this is kind of more of um like two-dimensional lego stuff snap circuit she has a, another box that's not in here right now her and her daddy are working on it but her snap circuits go in there these are all of her magnetic tiles so any of those magnetic ones and then I have some printable cards. These are just different challenges that I found for her. And then this is her wooden train set. It actually goes over there. But anyway, so it's got all her wooden train pieces and her cities that she likes to build. And then in this side, we have all of her Lego idea books. Um... We have a few different ones and I have some that I keep up and pull out when inspiration strikes or I need to strew something for her. And then she has a few little mini figures in here um, sorry, that she just recently got and she hasn't put together yet. And these are all of her large base plates. Actually, you guys, these... 
sorry for all the noise. This is what we did the tabletop with. So it was these peel and stick base plates from Creative QT, and they really are super simple. The back just peels right off. But we left the back on a few so that she could have some white ones if she wanted to build like um, two or three story buildings. And then I did not organize her Legos for her. I have no clue, but she has two big drawers of Legos. I believe this is loose piece Legos. I believe this is things that she is currently working on. Um, but she has free range over however she wants that done. As long as she can find what she needs, then I'm happy. This is where she keeps all of her manuals of anything that she might want to either rebuild or might need to fix. Like if she has it on display, sometimes the cats will knock it over. So she keeps all of her manuals in this one. These are other either smaller base plates or she also likes to keep felt pieces. Like if um, she wants, you know, something for her Legos to play on that maybe there's not a specific Lego color for. So that's her Lego basing. And then again, here's more Lego pieces. Um, I don't know her rhyme or reason. I don't ask. It's her center. And then down here is all Playmobil. She likes to keep them with and near her Legos because like when she built the zoo, she used a lot of these. So that is her STEM center. I will just give you a quick view. Again, like I said, it's mostly organized, but it pretty much always looks like this. She's always creating something. And as long as she keeps it where I'm not stepping on pieces on the floor and she knows what she wants to build with, then I'm a happy camper.